So the theorist I have is Richard Waitley. He was born on February 1st of 1787 in London, United Kingdom. He went through schooling. He went to Oriel College where he studied law. He died on October 8th, 1863 in Dublin, Ireland. And he brought um, the study of argumentation to rhetoric. That was his significance. Um, Richard Waitley's view on rhetoric was that rhetoric is to be regarded as the art of reasoned discourse, as governing that sort of composition in which conclusions are inferred from premises according to the law of logic. Um, we have to use a social issue that's going on or that has been going on and I chose um, to use a social issue, Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I feel like he really uses the study of argumentation in this way because it is the art or activity by which one person, through the use of reason discourse, seeks to get another person to believe or to do what he wants them to or believe to do. And that means that argumentation uses evidence, reasoning, and systematic thoughts. And I think that with this Black Lives Matter movement, people, like when you first think of argumentation, you think of, oh, an argument, like a verbal, like people in each other's faces, but that's not what Richard Whateley used as the study of rhetoric in, or the study of argumentation in rhetoric. He uses evidence and he uses words to come across and to change people's minds um and i think that that's what's going on right now with the black lives matter i think people are coming forward and they're using these facts and this evidence to prove that there are injustices going on in our current world and i also think that um I read in the book that argumentation is a social process by which people use rhetoric to reach a consensus about what is probably true. So I feel like a lot of people are going on social media and they're looking in the news and that is changing their ideas of what they might have had prior to all these videos coming out um, of all these injustices that are going on where they're comparing white lives to black lives. And I think that that um, all of this is really good evidence that is used in argumentation. Um, another important aspect that Richard Whateley brought to rhetoric is refutation, which is the practice of countering the claims of an arguer with evidence, reasoning, or other techniques. And that is an important part of an argument. An argument is also known as a debate. And when you debate somebody, there's always two sides and one person always feels one way and the other person always feels the other way. And in communication and in rhetoric, this is um, the art of inventing and arranging. So it's all in what you say and how you say it and um, using your evidence against what the other person is saying. Um, argument is and has been said that only um, rhetoric can claim entirely and exclusively, which means that what you say, what you argue, you have the power to change somebody else's minds. Um, and then I would say the takeaway that I have for this is that everything that you say, there's a certain way to say it because when you do, like I said before, think of an argument, you think of like a heated argument and that's not always the case. Two people having different opinions and stating those different opinions and stating why they feel that way, that is an argument and people do have different views. So I feel like the takeaway that I have from this is that communication, which rhetoric is the way we communicate, um, is the main way that we communicate with each other. And I think that argumentation is very important nowadays. 
and how we get things across to one another and how we change each other's minds because we may have all thought a certain way, but when you the evidence is put out for you, like straight out in front of you, it'll change your mind. Like some people might not, you know, four or five months ago believed that there was injustices in the black community, but now that there's all this evidence and there's all these facts out there, people change their minds because people brought forward an argument and they brought forward facts and evidence to use towards that argument. And I think that Richard Whateley is the one who we can thank for how we do come across people and how we do respond to people because arguments are a part of how we live our lives and how we communicate to each other how we're feeling.